is it's not going to get any easier. Taxes don't go down, they go up. So you lessen the impact. Every year you're going to have finance, you know, contracts. The employees get raises, their benefits go up. So the rate, you know, we're always going to have increases in taxes. So really what you've got to do is you've got to look at what you can do with symmetries and redundancies and try to fix it. Try to use what you have instead of what you, you know, going out and building something new. So. I think we have to be fiscally responsible with our services that we provide with the town and with the school district. Um, I think there's a lot of services that can be combined um, for us to be responsible financially in these times. Um, I do think there needs to be a separation with the school and the town regarding their functions. Um, they each function in different ways and for different reasons. And for that, I don't know that it needs to be under one umbrella, but I do think we, sh we can combine services to save money on our taxes. I think as a council member, I would want to look at ways to combine things. Uh, $90 million budget for the town between the school and the town, that's pretty healthy budget. That's more than some businesses deal with on a yearly basis. It's, it would be prudent and very smart to always be looking at ways to combine services uh, and resources. Well, the school does do a, do a different function. I'm not saying, you know, obviously not everything would be combined, but as Chris said, there are certain functions such as cleaning, that sort of thing, uh, grounds maintenance, anything like that that can, can be combined is going to save the town money and lessen the tax impact to the people. As a town council, we are um, employed to make tough decisions. Sometimes those decisions uh, I've seen being on the budgeting committee uh, actually get attached with names, and I think that's really where the hardest uh, task is when you look at trying to combine uh, different services, you look at people's jobs, and I think that's sometimes a, a, a hesitation. Uh, but really what we need to do is instead of looking at the person specifically, we need to look at uh, the uh, overall budget uh, for the town. And when I looked at the budget, I saw that there were uh, many areas uh, that could be combined. Um, there's always a cause and effect to that, though. So when we uh, go to combine that, we have to have the vision to take a look and see what actually would happen when we combine it. As an example, softwares. Uh, one of the things that we, that we had looked into was uh, combining some of the uh, <coughs> financial aspects of the two. And uh, it came back that the software was different, so they couldn't do it. Well, buy new software. Get it all on one. Uh, these are these are easy things to do, but the cause and effect to that uh, would probably would would actually show that you would have a great savings in payroll uh, overall. So um, I'm often combining services whenever um, whenever it makes sense. Well, I think when you say something like that, <clears throat> I think it's very broad. Uh, it's easy <coughs> to put something out and say we want to combine this with this, and it's going to save us some money. Well, how? And I've watched the town council meetings for a couple of years now, and a lot of times people present these things, and they just don't have enough information in them. It, it, to make everybody just, you know, it, it's going to save us money, and that's all there is to it, and that's all they hear. They did this for a reason. The school and the town have two separate things. You combine them together, one could degrade the quality of the other. It's hard to say, these are our children. Do you want to put a price tag on the education of the children? I'll ask the next question, and then I will go to Mr. Bill Gilman of Dairy News for the following question. My question to the consul candidates, and we'll begin with Mr. O'Keefe, is the following. There are a number of warrant articles being presented to the voters. Two most significant are Articles 2 and 3. Article 2 is the proposed Northwest Fire Station. The present consul voted 3-2 to support. The Budget Committee voted 7-0 to support. In Article 3, the proposed road uh, reconstruction maintenance bond, uh, the council voted 5-0, the current budget committee voted 7-0 in its support. 
I would start with you, Sean, and ask each of the candidates to voice their support <coughs> or lack thereof and the reasons why. Thanks, Mark. Um, well, having been on record for the last two years with the Budget Committee supporting the fire station, um, I think it's a necessity. Um, we're to the point now with that particular building that it's a liability more than it is an asset. Uh, I think that we've been putting it off for a lot of years, and I've said myself that um, we put a lot of projects ahead of it that we probably shouldn't have over the years. It probably should have been done back when this building was being done, uh, maybe even before it. So I supported it then. I still support it. I realize that it's a tough pill to swallow when we're looking at possibly reducing what we, uh, you know, what we get for state aid for 1.5 million is the rumor that uh, Governor Lynch is looking at uh, possibly cutting out of London Dairy's aid. Um, so I mean, it's a tough decision, but I think that with the amount of bonds that we have that are getting close to maturing, we could probably afford it. The uh, the $1 million bond as far as the road reconstruction, I think this year I would probably pass on it. Um, main reason I would probably do that is because of the fact that, you know, I think that the only, the only thing I have a problem with that the council didn't do was we didn't leave ourselves the buffer like we have in the past. Uh, so I, I wouldn't have, if I was sitting on the council then, I, I completely disagreed with that, that part of what they did. Normally, if the voters say no to a bond of that size, there's at least something in the budget that they can, you know, use so that there's something in the budget. And from what I understand, um, I think that they didn't leave anything this year. So I think that was a mistake on the council's part. Uh, but I don't support uh, the up or down of the one million. I think that was a mistake. But at this point, I wouldn't support it. But I would support the fire station. I think they both go hand in hand with our infrastructure. I think the infrastructure is important for the access road. Um, if you look at the capital improvement plan, it's a great plan. It's from 2010 to 2015. It will give us an opportunity for growth and jobs and revenue into the town, which will eventually lower our taxes, hopefully, during this tough time. And I think they're essential to maintain the infrastructure of our roads and the fire station for that northern tier there so that we can get some business in here. Uh, I would definitely support Article 2 of the North Fire Station. Um, as Sean said, we, we put it off way too long. It is a health and safety issue at this point. It does go hand in hand with our economic development. If we're going to develop the airport area uh, and the access road. Companies that are coming in and looking at us, this fire station is going to be supporting that area as a first response. It's also going to be back up to the airport should anything happen up there. So it's a key to our economic development. Uh, the road maintenance fund, again, that is part of our infrastructure. Um, we need to take care of our roads, our intersections. Uh, we all drive around town. There's some roads that, especially this year, are taking some pretty good hits due to the weather. And I've worked for several years with Giannis, and he does a superb job, and he pinches every penny till it squeaks. So if he feels he needs that much money, he's generally got some pretty good reasons. Well, I think uh, it's already on record uh, on the budgeting committee uh, this year, and I've already voted uh, both uh, in the positive for these two. And the reason why I did was uh, a lot of what you said, Dave, uh, um, Dana. Uh, it is basically a um, piece of economic viability to the North, North Station to act the access road, um, the airport access road in Pettengill. Uh, I believe that uh, when we're marketing ourselves out there to big companies, um, knowing that the state has identified that area as uh, one of the biggest economic uh, areas in the state, uh, we have to be ready to service that. Uh, and even putting that aside, if, if you're not even going to that end of it, <coughs> you should take a tour. I took a tour looking around at the uh, areas that uh, with mold growing. Uh, I know they took some of the mold out already, but uh, some of the uh, 
the bathrooms and, and just some of the facilities there are just um, really detrimental. I mean, it's being held up with um, 